most people, they think of a cattle rancher is maybe something that's a little more romantic. They think of a guy that gets on his horse every morning and rides out into the pasture and gathers up a few cows and he loads them up in a truck and somehow they wind up on their plate. Well, I've been in the commercial cattle business and registered business going on probably 30 years. And it's always been a passion. Fast forward, here we are now. We've had a lot of success in selling bulls and growing our herd, and it's been a uh, forward motion. On a daily basis, the ranch land is being covered up with cement and asphalt. So the more efficient these cattle become, the more cattle we can run per acre. The importance of a, a ranch like this is it converts sunlight into protein. And we're here trying to utilize what God gave us to produce the best beef that we can put up for the American people and the rest of the world. Grow Safe showed up here and had a bunch of boxes on a truck. And I had cowboys with spurs on down here putting Grow Safe systems together. It, we're pretty new into it but we have got to step up to the plate and, and look for conversion. We used to not take the efficiency of our cattle really into, into consideration. You know, we all just assume that you kick some cattle out there into a pasture and they eat and they get fat and we take them to market. Let's fast forward 20 years into the 21st century and there's technology available that allows us to check the efficiency of our cattle to see which cattle are really efficient and which ones aren't. The cattle that we've fed over the years go from Okeechobee, Florida to south of San Francisco. Uh, we've fed cattle that go to Utah, Nevada, uh, Louisiana, and some of that's real harsh country. So these cattle got to be able to hustle and hustle that grass after they leave here. If we don't measure the traits that make our cattle more efficient, you can't improve them. It's pretty easy to explain. Either you accept technology in, the, in agriculture, or you get out. I have a son, a daughter, grandkids that I'd like to see stay in agriculture, and we're gonna have to stay ahead of the normal feedlot to be able to do this. And we need people like the Beef Master people that want to come in and, and utilize the technology that's out there. It will pay off in the long run, and that leaves my family here. Because if we don't have cattle to test, then we're kind of out of business. We strive to be number one. So when the technology becomes available, as it has now with GrowSafe, we're going to utilize it. May the best man win.